This is the solution to written homework 46. Okay, so for part A. Okay, so f of x plus h. Comma y. And we're supposed to simplify this. So this would be 3. <coughs> x plus h, all squared, y plus 4, x plus h, y squared, plus 3x plus 6y. Okay, so now we're supposed to uh, simplify that as much as possible. So that would be 3, x squared plus 2xh, plus h squared, y and then plus 4xy squared plus 4hy squared uh, that should be x plus h <coughs> plus 6y uh, so that should be 3x plus 3h plus 6y. Okay, then multiply that out. So that would be 3yx squared, or 3x squared y, plus 6xyh, plus 3yh squared, Good. And the rest just get copied. So 4xy squared plus 4hy squared plus 3x plus 3h plus 6y. Okay, so that's part A. Part B is now compute uh, that. So <clears throat> f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y over h, assuming h is not 0. This is, uh, well, copy all of that. So 3x squared y plus 6xyh plus 3yh squared plus 4xy squared plus 4hy squared plus 3x plus 3h plus 6y. All of that. And then minus all of that. 3x squared y plus 4 x y squared plus 3 x plus 6 y and then all of that is over h so now we've got a lot of cancellation that occurs 3 x squared that cancels with that 4 x y cancels with that 4 x y 3 x cancels with that 3x, 6y cancels with that 6y. We're left with only terms that happen to have h's with them. So we have 6xyh plus 3yh squared plus uh, 4hy squared plus 3h. over h. So all the rest of the terms uh, canceled away. Notice that all of the terms in the numerator have an h in them. So we could factor an h out and obtain 6xy plus 3yh plus 
4y squared plus 3, and then that h is now factored out, and then over h. And now we can cancel that h over h to obtain 6xy plus 3yh plus 4y squared plus 3. And we can do this cancellation because h is non-zero. If h were zero, possibly, then it would not be possible to make that cancellation. And then c, the limit as h goes to zero of 6xy plus 3yh plus 4y squared plus 3. <clears throat> well, uh, this term has an, has an h in it, and none of the rest of them do, so they're all constant. So the answer is 6xy plus 0 plus 4y squared plus 3. And of course, by this point in the class, you understand that this is the definition of partial derivative with respect to x. And you can just check and see, what is the partial derivative with respect to x of this expression? Well, it's that. <laughs>